I was asked to do a bit of a video about cabbing and making the finished little stones that I love to use in my wire wraps. And this is my goal. I sketched out some little rough shapes and spaces that I thought were particularly cool. This is a piece of gorgeous crazy lace agate, Mexican crazy lace. But before I get started on him, I have a few... Here's a piece of obsidian. It's really beautiful. This was cut yesterday. It's a rainbow obsidian, so as you turn it to the light, you have a sort of purplish pink, beautiful aurora borealis effect. I actually did not make this guy. Sunny Jim here in Taos made it for me yesterday. But what I'm going to start with before I take the take the tile saw to this lovely big slab as I'm just going to work with some little preforms that were given to me actually a year or so ago by a dear friend Jean and they're all basically ready to go they're different agates jaspers yeah I have a little bowl here of them. Some of them I'm not actually quite sure what they are, but they're all very pretty and I think quite worth playing with. That one I will have to cut. It's a really cool piece of dendrite I get. I found a few that did not require any work. They were all ready to go and I put those in a little baggie. I looked through a Ziploc bag things marked easy wrappers and preforms. Uh, no, they're not made in India. It's just where the bag came from. Anyway, these guys I think are already a decent size and shape. I don't need to do anything, but before I begin on him, I'm just going to see what I can do with petrified wood and don't know what that guy is. Um, Picasso Jasper, maybe? Yeah. A series of little agates and cool almost there now i might deviate from the circles that i've marked out i might turn some into teardrops teeth i don't know exactly but it's going to be an interesting project so let's see where it goes and i have to say a big thank you to lapidary dave here in taos for letting me and sunny jim borrow this awesome cat machine while he is off in tucson and california this is, let's see, it's not a Diamond Pacific, it's a, it's not a Cab King. Darn it, I forget exactly what the maker is, but here's the little to-be-worked collection. Yeah, and here's my little bin that I'm going to work from today. So, there it is. And just in case you're curious how this works, I, I can't video myself doing it naturally because I need both hands but what you do here's the little water holes here are the different wheels the roughest diamond wheels the polishing are on this side this guy's got a few little bits of hard use but these guys are in pretty good shape anyway this is the fellow I'm currently working it's a little crazy lace. What I did is I drew a circle and I'm trying to carve off all the excess pointy bits and just surplus rock. The back's actually really pretty. Kind of hard to decide which, which piece I like more. I actually might go for this side. These are all tumbled stones, so this one's got a few irregularities. But what you do, if you're curious, it's very simple. You just turn the machine on, down, low grade, high, you take the hose out, right now I'm working on the roughest wheel, ah, both hands for this, so you put your little very high tech water device, and you both hands 
hands, but you just touch this to the wheel, begin to turn, hold, rotate, work here, pulling it down so it's where you want, and that's that. Pretty simple. I was really digging the back, so I have this side initially marked out. I mean, it's cool. Definitely has some patterning, but decided I just like the rosy kind of blossom. So this one is going to be finished in a few minutes. I will take the back down a little bit. It's a tiny bit wonky, but this is for the friends who ask to see how calves are actually made. I'm a beginner, beginner library. Mostly I just do the wire wrap, but what the heck, I've got all this awesome rough stuff. I've got a cab machine to borrow, mine as well. So I'm just gonna put it put it on the polishing wheels and this fellow will be done. And down the line you will see it as a finished wrap piece because that's mainly what I do. But right now I'm just having fun, doing something a little different on a day off, making some cabs. That one really turned out nice. Gorgeous piece of jasper. Jean Hutton, friend of mine from Ohio, who now lives in a different state, gave these to me last year as almost finished, tumbled. And I'm taking them to the to the final stage. Oh, loving it! So fun. This is a beautiful piece of natural turquoise. I bought this. It's not one that I mined. However, there was a funny little unfinished kind of spike coming off the top. It only took me a few minutes. Amazing how soft the turquoise is. Joy to work. Trim that down. It's a piece of verisite. And there was a fat vein of it peeking through on this side with some black host. So... I turned it. Really love how the black host matrix is showing through. You have that nice shape and the beautiful green tone. It's so, so, so much easier to cut the verisite or the turquoise than the agate and the jasper. A lot easier to polish, a lot easier to cut. Excited to make something with this. I like the shape and the size.